Hello again. Thanks for all of your messages, especially in the past 24 hours um, on the um, end of the world videos, and we'll revisit that soon. Um, but I'm about six months behind on, on a request for a video on the Hawa 1500 Mini Action. So a bunch of other things came to mind that I thought are worth sharing with you. And um, the preamble to this is, in, in the old days, I'm talking maybe 40 or 50 years ago, uh, rifles often, manufacturers often had different sizes of actions to accommodate different sizes of cartridges, which makes sense if you think about it. Um, but then with production costs and what have you, uh, quite a few of them just decided to have one action size. And um, for smaller cartridges, they modified magazines to get the smaller cartridge to work in what really amounts to an oversized action. So uh, one of the most obvious oversized actions on the table right now is the Tika T3. And by now you all know the Tika T3. Um, this old handle is not the original one. I don't know why I put that on, but maybe it gives a bit of a better grip. And um, I put a 223 round in the full size magazine. This is our favorite uh, polymer type magazine and um, I shouldn't be too critical about them they work well actually they're excellent rifles uh, so you can see how large this action is and you can see how small the 223 round is this is just the American Eagle 223 that I often use and there's the there's the round again outside of the magazine so you can see relative to the action this this is a very small round um, the reason I put this on the table, this is the 7.92 by 33 Kurtz. Uh, in German, Kurtz means short. And I actually don't call it these things, and a lot of people just refer to it as the 8mm Kurtz. And um, it was developed in the Second World War. Anyhow, the reason I have it on the table, it's, it's another one of these smaller cartridges that um, in a rifle perform out of all proportion to their size, to the amount of powder that they burn. But I don't have a rifle in that caliber. Um, I think those are the SDG 44s and they're pricey and they're semi-automatic. So I'm in the process of building a bolt action rifle in eight millimeter Kurtz. It's not some kind of fantastic round. I just decided I'd like to have a bolt action in that caliber. Um, but I'm veering a little bit. The main point was this round is way too big for this action or this action is way too big for this round um, and the same was true for the Vanguard which is on this side of the table and you can see I placed a 223 round in the Vanguard action and you, I mean you can get this to work and feed with the right uh, modifications to the floor plate or magazine and but, I mean, why would you do that? Why not just have a, an action that's the proper scale to the cartridge? Um, now, having said that, this is not a 223 Vanguard. This is a 240 Weatherby Vanguard. Uh, but I'm not aware of any, an intermediate action in the Hawa line. Uh, I think that this is... there. I think there were 223 Vanguards or Hawa 1500s that had that size action. But you guys would know better and can correct me if I'm wrong. Anyhow, a couple of examples of small action rifles, and t these are two of the best. This is the original Sako. I finally learned how to pronounce that correctly. This is in 222. Uh, this is the Sako aper aperture sight that you know, I've shown you before. I like them a lot. It has the Sako dovetails. And um, this is actually not a Sacco rifle, though. It's a, <clears throat> it's a Marlin. You can see the Marlin bullseye. And they, um, they used the Sacco action for a while in this particular model. I think it's 322. And this is, re this is really just a um, uh, modified, slightly modified Mauser action. But it's excellent. And these are in high demand, these little actions. There's something about small mechanisms that's always appealing. And this is the excellent CZ. Sometimes they were marketed, I think, as the Fox model. For years they were available in 222. 
some people read them out to 223 when that cartridge took off and I think they made a 22 Hornet uh, but now you know CZ is pretty good at, at tracking what the market wants and, and this one is in 7.62 by 39 and um, it was actually the second bolt action 7.62 by 39 I bought the first one was a Ruger and the Ruger action was far too large for the 7.62 by 39 um, this is scaled properly this one has a removable magazine that is a removable magazine and you can see um, if it can be filmed how small and appropriate the these two actions are for these abbreviated cartridges compared to this massive Tika that's you know correct for a 30-06 and I mean less so for the 308 you know really Tika for all their know-how they should just offer three action sizes and uh, maybe they're going to I guess they've released a 22 now rimfire but it's not that hard to tool up for three action sizes um, but anyway they must have business reasons uh, and I guess it's up to Beretta anyway uh, uh, what Tika does but um, and I, I could be wrong about that too anyhow uh, Mauser type action on the CZ superb you know buy these anytime you want a light fast never fail rifle and in that 762 uh, ammo is cheap and um, these virtually they never fail and I like the removable magazine there may be different magazine sizes I'm pretty sure I have a five shot but you know it all depends whether you're after um, firepower or ease of carrying and that kind of thing so finally we get to the point of the video and here's the here's the Howa 1500 mini action and uh, you can see how nicely scaled it, it is it's it's really just a wonderful rifle uh, you can see I've been busy with it I tossed some weaver steel bases or whatever I bought I don't remember has a great removable mag it's plastic or polymer same thing and um, the flawless feeding, flawless operation, accuracy, as usual for a Hawa or Weatherby Vanguard, just exceptional accuracy. And because it's so small and light and short, um, there's just something endearing about these smaller actions. Uh, people would write me right away, what are they available in? So this is a 223, and I think they may offer a 300 blackout and I have those rounds on the table as well. 300 Blackout is for, just for me, but you shouldn't really be influenced by me too much, uh, is my favorite, only because Remington offers this wonderful 220 grain loading that can be almost silent. The velocity is low, but none of these cartridges are made for extreme long range work. Um, although you could probably do something like that with a 6.5 Grendel, which may be the best of the bunch. I'm not sure. I don't own one, and I don't think I have owned one. But I look at ballistics like everybody else. Still, I like that 300 blackout, so I think this is offered in 223, 222 maybe, uh, 762, 39, and um, the Grendel, and maybe a couple others that I'm, that I'm not thinking of. Um, I know they're very popular because the shops are quite often sold out of this model. And it's, this one is the Howa 1500 Mini, and I don't know whether there was a deal cut between Weatherby and Howa yet for these smaller actions. I don't think so. It's just sold directly by, by Howa. And um, just flawless operation. It's, 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 um, it's a great idea. Now, you can tell this isn't my favorite type of rifle. It, it has the synthetic stock and a polymer magazine and so on, but the parts that have to be steel or should be steel are steel. And then they economize wherever they can to bring costs down. And it's reasonably priced, and I won't quote a price because you can look those up, but th this is not going to break anybody's bank. And I'm just looking here at the magazine and this particular magazine is for 223, 204 Ruger, and 222. So obviously those cartridges are available in this um, in this configuration of the of the Hawa. But anyway, uh, if 
I guess if there's a gun I purchased in the past couple of years that uh, surprised me for how much I like it and how accurate it is, it's this, it's this little Howell Mini. And I know where a couple of Grendels are, and um, I'm trying to get a hold of one of them. If I do, I'll probably take it to the range, and then we can look at it actually shooting. I always get requests to go to the range and actually shoot. And, and uh, you know, sorry I don't get to that. It's, if you knew all the stuff that was going on. But anyway, um, I like making these videos. So uh, getting back to the cartridges, here's the 300 Blackout. And if your reloaders are familiar, you're going to wonder what, what bullet is that. Uh, so you can see what this was. That's the 220. Yeah. So that's the 220. Then I fired all those. Then I just saved my brass. And then I, I like round nose bullets because I, I don't fool myself about hunting and if I go out for um, you know coastal blacktails or whatever I decide I I'm talking about a hundred yards and I don't mind if I can't get something past that or 150 yards I'm more than happy to let whatever it is go and um, so within that range this 150 grain Horton, Hornady round nose pretty sure uh, that that's an amazing combination for me and uh, for the rifle I use it in, which is a Kimber. And um, I think I've shown it to you. It's also a Mauser, basically a Mauser action. Extremely accurate, no recoil, totally quiet. You won't bother anybody firing these kinds of cartridges. And actually my uh, closing comment is that this trend toward these smaller actions like the Hawa, um, it's long overdue. There's no need to lug around these great big actions you know, unless you're using the big cartridges, then of course you need them. But the Saco um, original is hard to find. Great action. CZ still available. You could use their proprietary scope mounts or you could put on something else if you wanted. But you can't go wrong with any of these. And they're easy to feed, easy to maintain, lighter, shorter. And, you know, as, a, as appealing maybe as a larger rifle may be. Uh, it practically speaking if you have the power and you you understand the ballistics and you're some kind of capable shot and do your part when it matters then really why not have something that's more convenient to carry store transport uh, they have everything going for them and uh, these are dual locking lug systems like I should have pointed that out it's just two locking lugs there's no exterior claw extractor as there would be on a controlled round feed but com completely functional and um, for, for the price and for the purpose that the manufacturer had in mind um, exceptional rifle they should have made them a long time ago I like them more than the full-size Vanguard or the full-size Hawa they're just so easy to handle and uh, friendly in every way so there it is sorry for taking so long and getting it out to you and like I said, I'll report back if I get that Grendel, uh, which is ballistically a very interesting cartridge. So there we are. Oh, and I must remember, could you please subscribe to the channel? This is important. And if you can at all join me on Patreon, I would appreciate it. It would, would help me um, in a lot of ways that aren't readily apparent. But I'd like to keep going with, with the channel and what I'm doing. And there are a few things I'm some initiatives that um, that I can't mention yet, but I think they'll be good. But please um, uh, help me if you can. Okay, that's it. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in a bit.